was just a tea. <laughs> there was no, no tea like... today. Today was just about hanging. They can tell me for the race. It's commit and believe, commit and believe. And if I, in the start of line, I was just repeating that for myself. And yeah, I mean, when I when we went out in 55, I was like, well, that's fast. I was like, it's gonna slow down. I need it to slow down. So I just tried to be on top of the best runners because I was like, if I'm behind Jacob or behind Stevie, I know they're gonna go to the to the top of the race. So that's what I tried to do. And in the last hundred, I was just catching bodies and trying to, you know, get in the medals. But yeah, it was a very long straight for me. I mean, five second personal best, fourth in the world, I think. I couldn't have expected that this year and see myself there that it tells me that I can do a lot more in the next years and I can be a contender for the for the, Tokyo, uh, for the Paris Olympics and the next four championships. I heard you say to Ray that you thought you were going to get a medal. Yeah, I mean, I, I was catching everybody and I was like, well, people is dying. So I've been saving energy until the last stretch and, and yeah, I mean, I saw it so close, but you know, it's, it's good to have another Spaniard taking it. I think the 1500 Spain is in a very good spot right now and I think we're going to you know, be in the finals for the next year, so I'm going to fight for the medals. We've joked before that you're a great tactician, but now it seems like you can run fast. Did you know that you had a 330 in you? Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't know if it was 330, 331, but I definitely knew I could run fast. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a good tactician, like you say, but in this type of races, there is not much tactics, you know, it's just about who has the biggest ball, I guess, or who has the, the best fitness, and uh, yeah, I mean, the, the top three the, today is so, uh, so. Have you, did you look at the clock? Have you ever seen those numbers before in the middle of the race? I think you oh yeah, I, def I definitely look at the clock. I was like 2.34 for the other 100. I was like, Mario, if you run 56, that's a 3.30. And I wasn't thinking about running 56. I was just thinking about passing people. And when I saw 3.30, when I crossed the finish line, I was like, wow, like, that's, that's, a, that's a race right there. <laughs> What does it say about the 1500 that like you can go from NCAA's not winning it and then come and get fourth in the world and beat champions and, and guys who have run super fast? I mean, are you not entertained? I think like, the 1500 is the most entertaining event in the war. I mean, there's everything. There's, you know, uh, very fast races, there's very slow races. And, you know, the good thing about it is like, uh, here on the track, we are all even. And then, and then like we just try to race against each other without pacers and I think that's magical. We're seeing guys, you know, you've been racing since uh, January, February yeah. indoors. We're seeing guys sort of slow down and run out of steam. How do you keep going and run your best race of the year in the middle of July? This is last Benhoi. <laughs> I mean, I, I think the good thing about Benhoi is he knows how to measure the workouts. And uh, I mean, I haven't worked out very hard this year because I was racing so much. And the good thing about it is I, I think I can get fitness from, from racing. And uh, that's my workout, you know, like when I was uh, finishing the race, I was doing the strides after and trying to assimilate that work from the race. And I think that way you can get used to doing hard efforts many times a year. And, and then also you get like the benefit, like the tactic benefits, benefits from, you know, racing so much and you can sell that in championships. Was at the start of the year was like making the world championships final, was that on your radar? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, last year, I had to watch uh, the Olympic final from home and you know that hurt a lot uh, and I was like well Mario I think you deserve to be in the final this year and, and that was my mentality coming into this year. When you wake up tomorrow are you going to think oh my god I'm fourth in the world or I wish I was third? Well when I wake up tomorrow I'm going to be in the plane because we leave at three in the morning today so so yeah I'm not, not going to sleep that much but yeah I mean tomorrow I think it's going to be uh, hard to simulate all this because I mean I, I knew I could run fast I knew I could be a male contender, but you know, like you can believe it, but until you do it, you don't, you're not gonna fully believe it, yeah. Anything to say about the 